hi guys okay i finished doing one video but i just want to focus so much more um on migration stories um in this one so in my previous video which is titled welcome to britain is it that that one goes on first or this one i don't know but whichever one you can watch it later so i just want to focus on why migrants lie to british embassies or british people when they come into this country that has not been my story to be honest because we went through a crush like really long process process period before coming into this country but anyways i've watched a lot of uk border force and other um, um programs of similar type and when i look at how people just lie for no reason <laughs> it kills me <laughs> okay so if you're a migrant watching this video let me tell you the truth it is okay to tell the truth the reason why you're coming to this country okay please don't lie fill in the application form as best as your ability just tell the truth because your life will be so much more easier here okay and you can even defend yourself very well i remember the story of this man he was viral i think it's also on youtube where they asked him what his, his age was he was coming from nigeria to be precise and according to him he was coming from nigeria to be okay but he lied about his age and you know everyone was just laughing you can't tell me you're 16 years old when you're a fucking grown man grown ass man anyways you can watch that video on youtube um i don't know the title but you can search for it because i'm not going to put it on my video anyways so <laughs> yeah i'm just saying people that lie about their age this is people think it's just nigerians there's a lot of asians that lie about their age there are a lot of everyone every migrant most of migrants at least most of them lie about their age and i'm not talking about like old migrants i'm talking about young migrants <clears throat> so in all honesty i know of the person who my friend went out with and he lied about his age and you know it's asians anyways because they grow beers very quickly sometimes you can't get confused of their age so he was two to three years older than he claimed on his thing that he was um so yeah he lied about his age and i know other people that just lie about what their purpose are in britain and stuff like that okay and after a lot of thoughts and stuff like that and i said to myself okay i get it i get why people lie and why you kind of had to know what story to tell because i realized in britain in all honesty they love lies more than they love the truth you can get away with lies but when you tell the truth you are in trouble i've experienced it myself there are certain times i've seen like just said things that like so true from the depth of my heart and that has gotten me to trouble and yeah not in a good place so now i didn't go about lying about it because i could care less what you think anyways but if I, as long as i knew i told the truth and my spirit is at rest then the rest is up to you because i could care less i'm more caring about my spirit being at rest than yours <laughs> so anyway so i after that my experience i realized okay i get the reason why migrants lie because if you're telling the truth sometimes all the time in this country they don't take you serious they, they believe in the lie more than the truth so if you're going to tell the lie that oh my gosh they're persecuting me in my country people are chasing after my life if i go back home i will die oh my parents at home are dying hell oh, i'm in an imminent danger or oh, people want my life they want my daughter's life ah those people they believe all those stories or i mean just an abject poverty there is nothing is a desperation period 
they believe in Britain, they believe the poor stories of Africa more than they believe the success stories of Africa. So if you're coming into this country and you're trying to come in as maybe as a rich boy, maybe you are in Nigeria, a rich boy, or in Africa, you're a rich person, and you're coming in with that attitude, you have more problem that you have when you're coming in as a poor person. Note that, I'm not even lying about it. Because once you try to tell the stories of maybe your family, especially if you come from an affluent family back home, they kind of, I don't know if they get intimidated or they feel like, yeah, what's it called? If you are that rich, why are you in this country? I always ask them, ah, if you yourself are a rich country, why are many of you in my own country? Question. <laughs> so, in all honesty, many people have that misconception that every African is a has a story of people who want so, so, and so. And then the Africans here or yeah, they feed into the feed them with that story then because at the end of the day that's what they want to believe. However, I'm not saying that there are not people that have genuine stories of war torn situation where their life is at danger and things like that. But in most cases you can tell it's a lie because I've worked with these people when they tell you their story as they're going through migration. <laughs> It makes me laugh. It's a good thing I've never gone through migration anyways because I just go straight in. So, but if you're coming in as a migrant, you will definitely meet the border force and all those people and they ask you stupid questions. And the stupid questions that they ask is makes no sense. It doesn't help you discover the truth. I remember my auntie came, in, came here to um, look after her daughter who gave birth because it's a, a culture that when the child gives birth, the mom goes for a child visit to look after the baby and the mother so that they can have a rest. And that is such a beautiful culture which you don't have here. <sighs> Unless you have a generous mom. Anyways, so she said she was asked so many stupid questions like that and they were asking, I mean, she got so frustrated. She said to them, listen, I am a pharmacist, well known in a very government, what's it called? A hierarchy government con position in my country. Here is my salary, it even earns more than you people probably. And this is what I do for a living. I've traveled to other places, I've traveled to other countries. Why are you asking me these stupid questions? Do you think I'll abandon all those things to come to your country to do what? So sometimes you have to challenge them. Like really, no one is coming to your, not everyone is coming to your country to stay. Not everyone is coming dishonest. People are actually trying to tell you the truth, but because you push them to the limit, they then be like, yo, tell the lie. And that's why then many people get advice to lie because at the end of the day, the truth seems not to get you anywhere. But however, let me tell you, in all honesty, for those who are applying for visas and stuff like that, do yourself a favor. Fill in the questions in the most truthful way that you know because it will give you a peace of mind when you come here. There are so many people suffering because maybe they like immigration that they are coming for holiday then they decide to stay long and then um, they are suffering in the hands of people who are not paying them well, okay? Or they are doing minimal job just to survive, just to be like they are in Britain. I understand the hardship at least that may be pursuing you out of your own country. Sorry. But in all honesty, it doesn't worth risking your life and risking being um, uh, mistreated just because you want a better job. In all honesty, if you're coming into this country, let me tell you the truth. If you do, if you're not, if you do not have qualification that makes you come in straight to this country as a worker, you will struggle. So, for example, my uncle came in because he was employed by a British company to come into this country. So if you do not come in through that route where you are employed already within here before you come in, you will really struggle because if you were a banker, let's say, if you were working in the bank where, or your manager at a place whilst you were in your country, if you come in here, trust and believe it, no one is going to give you that job unless you are going into school. Many people that have really good jobs here, most of them I, I noticed all came through the school routes. So they came, studied, and whilst they are studying, they are gaining experience of working in Britain. And with hard graft and work, hard work, they were able to secure better pay. They still had to do menial jobs. So see those jobs that you do not like doing at home, you will do it here. So let me tell you the truth, no one tells you. Most of the time, 
many people will come and be like, hey, you people are coming from Britain. You know, like they try and make you feel like you are one important person, which is saddening, especially when I went back to Nigeria. I'm like, you guys, listen, money in this country doesn't grow on trees. as they made it out to be on their media. It doesn't, or how people make it out when they go back home. They make other people feel belittled, but belittled, belittled over there. And then that's why they have the misconception that people here must be on the top. And that's not true. They are just ordinary people like you who work hard. The difference is that they keep their country organized while your president doesn't. At least in Nigeria I'm speaking. I'm speaking for us. Yes. Anyways, so my advice is that you see all those menial jobs that you never did, you'd be like, ha, how can I go for a maid for a person? How can I go and clean someone's house? How can I do this? How can I do that? Let me tell you people, if you're coming in and you don't have your right papers and you don't have um, a form of um, employment already planned here, you don't have any sort of um, you know, leeway that gets you the high paid job, it's try very hard. Like, you come in here to do menial jobs. You find yourself cleaning toilets, you find yourself doing all sorts of jobs, okay, to keep means going. You find yourself on doing like um, uh, <laughs> care job, okay? So, <laughs> care job can be good it can be bad depending on who and what company you work for so please in all honesty don't come in lying come in with the truth either you're staying for holiday or you're not if you want to come and find work then find work just say what you're coming in for at least you have the right paperwork and you can work in peace mind so that people will not exploit you i mean even as a person who came in with a peace of mind People still try to exploit you. It's only recently that I realized, no, you can't do that rubbish. I'm setting up my own standards. You are not. Because what they often treat like some black people here is just like most of them stay in the lower end of the job row rather than the higher end. So unless you really grafted and did your work and stuff like that and studied and by God's grace, you get someone who likes you to employ you. But other than that, my dear, this country is not easier if people think oh, you don't know how people are surviving i know i'm talking about you people that are in nigeria you are there struggling i know someone whose parents are selling their land to come to this country i'm like i don't understand the investment to better your child's life and i understand the desperation to get out of nigeria in this bad economy only god will help judge's president only god in fact, let me not talk about the nigerian economy because i'll just get pissed anyways I understand all those things just to make it better means the only reason why this country works let me tell you the honest truth is because their government actually does most of the things that they say they are going to do if that was the same story in Nigeria trust and believe it no one in Nigeria will come into this country doing the things that they do here because there is we have some sort of pride in us to do well but not to be condescended to the lowest level that pigs are concerned taking to so please my people it's not that serious do your best to invest that money you're going to invest in britain british soil in nigeria trust me you progress so much more because i've been to nigeria so so much entrepreneurship so much people doing so much things so please do yourself a favor invest that 100 300 if not up to 1 million naira you're going to invest in this country Invest it in your own land, we will not be poor. Because me, myself, I am planning, by God's grace, if I, once I secure enough funds for myself, I am planning to go back to Nigeria and once have a place to live. And I believe that visually, when all these things will come to an end, when we choose to actually vote according to the person's ability to give us the right care and treatment our country needs than on the name the tribe the um what's it called the money that they pay you to vote and all the shenanigans they do to get votes so i do believe that my most migrants come in wanting to tell the truth but because of the way the british are they end up lying so do yourself a favor just tell why you're here if you're coming to study study don't come and be studying and then leave after one month to go to work 
and just do full time work rather than even focusing on your study because they will support you if you're actually struggling. So I'll continue with my migration story you know, another day. But at this moment, I'm tired. I want to sleep. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and please like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't dislike it either. <laughs> just go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>